What's popping? What's popping? So, I posted. Uh, oh, hi. My name is Prudence. My name is also Scooby. My name is also Moby. My name is also Mo. My name is also. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> but anyway, so I posted a podcast episode, a ton of them actually, on my podcast channel where you could have a listen. Um, have a listen. That's my. By the way, I'm out in nature, so you're gonna hear a whole lot of natural sounds birds, cars, dogs, people, you name them. Yeah. So, anyway, um, so yeah, I posted a reflection of 20, 20 what, 2018 on my podcast channel. And yeah, so this, there's a bunch of things I talk about, like lessons and all the interesting stuff. You want to watch it. Why are you acting like you're not want to, you want to listen to it. Anyway, so yeah, I posted that. Please have a listen. And then, um, I guess right now I'm gonna... So I've had like a bunch of themes in the years. 2015 was about... Um, letting go and let God. That's when the whole theme thing started. 2018. Ha, huh, 2015. So that's that was my theme 2015, just letting go and letting God. And I remember I let go of a whole lot of people in 2015 because I was just so exhausted of being the person I was. And I didn't do it. But and then um, so 2016, I, tw- I think 2016 was still the same thing. If I'm not mistaken, 2016 was definitely the same thing because. Excuse me. I remember I took a gap year. I was depressed. So depressed. Yeah, but it was still the same thing. I don't think I came up with anything new that year. And I just... That year, more than any other year in my life, I think my bond with God and just like strengthening my spiritual life was... I flourished and it was a good year spiritually but also like a terrible year because I mean, it was my gap year and it was so hard but I didn't it was hard but not hard I don't know what this video is about but let's look back um, so 2017 was worrying less like way less yeah, so that was actually my thing, wireless, wireless. So, and that was inspired by how I worried about my mom and what she was going through and worrying about like a whole lot of things that I couldn't control basically. I got worried a lot and I think that also stems from my anxiety or depression or whatever. But so 2017 I made a vow to worry a lot less because I mean the worrying didn't make me happy. So yeah, I think. But I was in Cape Town so it helped but it didn't help at the same time but it actually helped because it helped. 2018 has to be my most interesting year thus far. 2018 I feel like I hatched totally hatched 2018 was by far interesting in regards to my personality my my business my like my career mindset or whatever just my artistry like oh my god 2018 was really like 2018 was that first step you take when you're going up. <laughs> I'm just going to try. But anyway, 2018 was definitely interesting for me in regards to like everything that happened in 2018. And I feel like 
um, between 2018 and every other year, I definitely learned more and have way more lessons and more things to talk about in 2018 than any other year. And some of those things are not feeling sorry for myself, finally understanding that things take time to not compare myself with anyone or any artist and their work and where they are in their career and um, let me see to try and be more confident I mean to try and be more confident to I mean I've never been a, a person that explains myself but in 2018 that just intensified greatly so that happened in 2018 and um, I learned not to expect miracles by try and pray for breakthroughs and goodness goodness I had a lot of breakthroughs and I feel like that also is like a, what contributed to all of that was the work I started putting in after not feeling sorry for myself because um, once I stopped feeling sorry for myself a whole lot of things started happening for myself so yeah um, a lot of breakthroughs to be less dingy and just learn because I'm young I mean seriously and to just educate myself and force myself wherever I can force myself because things are not just going to happen and what else let me see that some things are true enough for you and I mean don't force yourself in situations but if you have to also that's also something I learned to not um, force myself into situations but then if I need to if it's like necessary to kind of just like sink into whatever you're going through and until it's over because everything eventually ends and what else I think yeah, learning not to rush things and being content with that um, I'm doing what I can and eventually things are gonna happen and that I feel like I learned more with my business, my like artist career or whatever, more than anything else. And yeah, ooh, I wrote right here at the end. I'm at a point that's one of the lessons by the way I'm at a point where I can tell people to mind their own business and to stay in their own way and then I feel like I don't have a theme in 2019 um, except to be consistent in everything I do in my work, in my schoolwork even in my myself to be more consistent basically I think the theme this year is to carry on from 2018 and to be more consistent in just like a whole lot of things and yeah to work work a lot and and to just maintain my peace it's important to me but yeah I mean this video wasn't interesting but I feel like I had to get it off my chest this is part two by the way so if you want to listen to part one it's on my podcast channel is it a podcast channel probably is it so yeah thank you for listening thank you for being here thank you for your time thank you for reaching the end may god make your to happy new year happy new year and may god your 2019 and make it as amazing as i think mine is going to be <sighs> yeah yeah so yeah bye and i think you can just go to my website if you want to listen to my podcast and be directed there because giving you a link is a mission but you could just find my podcast um it's hair pronounce her type those words into Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and then you'll be fine in your soul. Honestly, 
listen to my stuff, watch my work. So many things I want to do this year. But yeah, so thank you for listening. God bless you. Bye.